when I'm in a Google Classroom assignment, I'm able to add a rubric. Now I can do it where I build the rubric right in the classroom assignment, or I can reuse a rubric that I used on a previous assignment, but of course my favorite way is to do it from a spreadsheet. So when I am in the Google Classroom assignment, you'll see here on the bottom right, it says rubric, and my choices are to create a rubric, reuse a rubric, or import from Sheets. These are pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna do import from Sheets, and I use Alice Keeler GC rubric. I'm gonna make a copy. Now I have a template here, so I'm gonna go ahead and rename the title So that is what is going to be named in Google Drive. Of course, it is a Google Sheets spreadsheet. It saves to Google Drive. And then I'm able to put here the different criteria that I have for my rubric. And you'll notice is as I fill out one category, it's going to automatically add another one. And it's going to keep doing that. And so if I am done with my categories, I can actually just go ahead, if I delete the title and I delete the description, then I will not have an additional category. Now what you'll notice with my template is that I have meet standards and then meet standards. It's gonna copy the verbiage all the way down so I don't have to put it in multiple times. Now this is kind of weird and it's hard to get used to. Of course there's no save button. It is a Google Sheets spreadsheet. So the only thing you have to do is go over to the Google Classroom assignment and under rubric I say import from Sheets and it's going to go to Google Drive. You notice it says insert from Google Drive. It's automatically filtered for spreadsheets and I have my spreadsheet right here is my participation rubric and all I have to do is click add and it's right in there. Now if somebody wants to use this same rubric, the only thing I have to do is go over to the Google Sheets and click on the share button and share it with them and they'll find it in their Google Drive and all they have to do is import from Sheets and find it in their Google Drive.